welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review It is time for my favorite video of the week. You guys guessed it, it is the Hot 10 Breakdown. If you guys aren't familiar with what I do in this video, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app, and I break them down for you guys one by one, letting you guys out there in the community know if I'm buying these books at these prices or I'm staying the hell away. But before we get started in the video, like always guys, I wanna remind you, if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, do me a favor, go ahead, click that sub button for me. I want you to smack that like button. You guys know once we hit 4,000, and I think we're just under 85 subs away right now, I'm giving away this Thanos diorama, and I can't wait to give this sucker away. So do me a favor, hit that sub button. With that said, let's get into this week's breakdown. At number 10 this week is a copy of Strange Adventures number 205 and the first appearance and origin of the dead man. No, not the Undertaker, but the ghost who is able to possess the living in a CGC 6.0. Just sold last week for 579 bucks, up 8% over the average. But that's not it. It was a CGC 4.0 sale for 320 bucks, up 7% over the average. I've talked about this book before. I actually think it's a decent buy. However, I'm just not really into the character, especially for the money around a 4.0, 6.0, under 500 bucks. I don't think that's too bad. Regardless, like I said, I'm not into the character, so I won't be buying it here. At number nine this week is a copy of Iron Man number 55 and the first appearance of the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. This is also the first appearance of Eros and Drax in a CGC. 9.2 just sold last week for 1950 bucks up eight percent over the average we have another sale of a cgc 7.5 for 1050 bucks up 14 percent over the average i gotta be honest this book has been on and off the list for the better part of two years not sure why people are going ahead and buying and then dumping and then buying again Either way, I want to own this book. I think it's an awesome key. Love Thanos, but I just don't want to spend the money that these are going for right now in higher grades. If I can get one around a 5.0 for a decent price under GPA, I might pull the trigger. Maybe a nice raw copy. Other than that, at the high grades, I think it's too much money to spend. At the 8 spot is Batman number 655 and the first appearance of Damian Wayne, son of Bruce Wayne, and Talia al Ghul. And a CGC. 9.8 just sold last week for 300 bucks up 35 percent over the average by tying last week's high at 300 bucks and we'll say this i told you guys this before i love this book however i think 300 dollars is still a little bit too much to spend on a 9.8 copy of this one and i only want to own a 9.8 i think anywhere from 200 to 250 i'm a little bit more comfortable if it drops down that price i would go ahead and snatch it up but right now at 300 I'd be staying away. At number seven on this week's list is a copy of Spider-Man Noir, number one, and the first appearance of Spider-Man Noir, an alternate reality Spider-Man who operated during the Great Depression. And a CGC, 9.8, just sold the prior week for 500 bucks even, up 20% over the average. If you guys notice, when I only give you one 9.8 sale, it's because I only want to own that book in a 9.8. I enjoy this character very much, I don't want to spend this kind of money on a 9.8 and I think it only should be bought at a 9.8. Regardless, I'd be staying away at this price. Who knows? I hear he's supposed to get his own movie. Not too sure. You never know if it's going to happen or not. And if it doesn't, then what? This price is going to go right back down to where it was. I'd be staying away. At number six this week is one of my all-time favorite Spider-Man keys. It is Amazing Spider-Man number 14 and the first appearance of the Green Goblin, one of the most important Spider-Man villains out there in history. And a CGC. 1.5 just sold last week for 1100 bucks up 12 percent over the average there was also a cgc 4.5 sale for 4450 bucks up 11 percent over the average man that 4.5 sale went for monster money you guys know i love this book even in low grade as long as it's complete and it presents nicely i'm definitely a buyer of this one i own multiple copies of this book and i'm always looking to pick it up definitely a yes from me guys at the five spot is the century number one and the first appearance of the century and a cgc 
9.8 just sold last week for 450 bucks up 19 percent over the average we know why this book is on this list there's a rumor out there saying that the century may be the antagonist in the upcoming thunderbolts movie i'm not too sure about that i think it's a really cool character however you have to own it in 9.8 and i don't want to spend anywhere near the money it's going for right now i'd definitely be staying away on this one at number four this week is a copy of uncanny x-men number 266 and the first cover appearance of gambit key collector is actually referring to this book now as the second appearance of gambit believe it or not i think uncanny x-men annual number 14 right now they're saying is his true first appearance regardless a cgc 9.4 just sold the prior week for 240 bucks up one percent over the average we also had a cgc 9.0 sale of 206 bucks up five percent over the average i actually really like this book i actually think the mcu is going to use gambit sooner rather than later considering we haven't seen him in any other x-men films i will say this i only want to own this book in a 9.8 i know it's pretty cheap around a 90 92 94 but if you're going to spend the money and you want to buy the book get it in a 9.8 that's the grade that i think it's worth it other than that i'd probably be staying away but i do enjoy this book at the three spot on this list is all-star comics number 58 and the first appearance of power girl a kryptonian cousin of earth 2 superman and a cgc 9.2 just sold last week for 400 bucks up 40 percent over the average we also had a cgc 8.0 sale of 239 bucks up 44 percent over the average not too sure why this book is spiking probably because everything is spiking dc right now i remember when i picked this book up in a very fine range around 50 to 60 bucks now going over 200 to 240 i think it's way too much money to spend for this character however i do think james gunn will find a way to use this character right so to each his own i may be wrong on this one but i just don't want to spend the money on this character at the two spot this week and climbing one spot is a copy of swamp thing number one and the first appearance of the new swamp thing alec holland in a cgc 8.5 just sold the prior week for 477 bucks up 12 percent over the average we also had a cgc 7.0 sale for 225 bucks up 15 percent over the average this book has been on and off the list for the better part of two months you guys know how i feel about it i actually prefer house of secrets 92 i think it's the better buy a few people came at me saying they'd rather have this book because they know they're going to use alec holland instead of the original swamp thing i think that's fine but i do think for money wise investment wise house of secrets 92 is the better buy and i'd get it in a higher grade as possible love the cover love bernie wrightson that's the one i'd be buying and at the top spot again i can't believe it after 16 weeks in a row and then finally a week off this book was back on the list last week and now at the top spot again it is omega man number three and the first appearance of lobo and a cgc 9.8 just sold last week for 420 bucks up 26 percent over the average i can't believe people out there are still paying over 400 dollars for this book i told you guys around 350 or even less now because so many of these books have sold over the past month i would definitely staying away from this book if you guys are trying to find a copy wait for this book to come down around 300 dollars now we had the push it started to come back and now it's starting to push back up stay the hell away from this book i love the character i just don't like the price that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this one again i always enjoy going through the top 10 and telling you which books i'd be buying or which books i'd be staying away from but keep in mind this is only my opinion do what you want collect what you like and you can never go wrong this is lawrence over at mighty commons and collectibles saying thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon